All right, this question says, assume that a sample is used to estimate a population mean. Um, find the margin of error that corresponds to a sample size of 16. So I'm going to write all this down. Uh, sample size, that's going to be our n value. So our n is going to be 16 with a mean of 24.4. Uh, and notice that I use the incorrect notation. So because we're talking about a sample mean, so this mean refers to a sample for sample mean we're going to be using x bar and a standard deviation of 18.1 so once again because it's a sample standard deviation it's going to be s equals to 18.1 all right we need to find a margin of error um, at a confidence level of 99.5 percent so we have everything that we need we need uh, s which we have we we need radical n we know what n is the only only thing missing is the critical value the t star so uh, how do we find the critical value? Well, to find the critical value, the T star, we are going to be using the T distribution. Okay, so on the calculators page, sacstats.weebly.com, I'm, I'm going to click on T distribution. And because we're given a percentage, we're going to click on find percentile quantile. The degrees of freedom, that's N minus 1. So because we have a sample size of 16, our degrees of freedom is going to be n minus 1, which is going to be 16 minus 1, or 15. That is going to be the degree, degrees of freedom. So in my t distribution calculator, I'm going to say that my degrees of freedom is equal to 15. Always choose a two-tailed test. That's one of the mistakes students make. And then you put in your, uh, your percentage, and that's 99.5%. And we can see that our critical value is 3.286. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in. Um, so our margin of error is going to be our critical value, T star, which was 3.286, times the sample standard deviation, which was 18.1, divided by the square root of 16. And I do strongly recommend that you use desmos.com as your calculator. So we're going to go to desmos.com, which is open right here. All right, so uh, our critical value is 3.286. times our sample standard deviation, which was 18.1. And we're going to divide that by the square root of 16. And we get our margin of error to be 14.86915. Um, let's see about rounding. It says round to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, if you have 14.869, the number after the first decimal place is a five or higher. So it's gonna round to 14.9. So we get 14.869. The number after the first decimal place is five or higher. So we're going to round this to 14.9 as the margin of error. Okay, this problem says the effectiveness of a blood pressure drug is being investigated. An, ex uh, an experimenter finds that on average, the reduced systolic blood pressure is 31.6. So because we're given average for our sample, okay, so the, the average reduction is 31.6. So our X bar, the average for the sample is going to be 31.6. Sample size of 6, 655. So our sample size, which is N, is going to be 655. And our sample standard deviation is going to be 17.7. So for the sample of 655 people, the, the mean was 31.6 with a standard deviation of 17.7. Estimate how much the drug will lower typical blood pressure. Uh, so now we're trying to estimate um, how much the average member of the population uh, will have their blood pressure uh, reduced by using a 95% confidence level. Okay, so first off, for this section, we're always going to start with a formula. And the formula is like this. The, for the formula for the confidence interval is your X bar, which is your 31.6, because you're taking a sample mean to estimate the population so the sample mean is not going to be exactly the same as the population mean there's going to be some kind of an error so we have plus or minus the margin of error the margin of error is given by your critical value t star times the sample standard deviation over square root of n that's our confidence interval formula so we have everything that we need we have the sample mean we have the sample standard deviation we have our sample size all we're missing is the t star 
Okay, so for the t star, we're going to go to the t distribution. We need degrees of freedom. That's equal to n minus 1. So in this case, n is 655 minus 1. We'll have degrees of freedom of 654. So let's go to our t distribution calculator. Okay, in our t distribution calculator, um, we're going to say that our degrees of freedom is going to be n minus 1, which is going to be 654. We, have a, we want a 95% confidence level. Make sure you choose two-tailed test, put 95%. And our confidence level, uh, or sorry, our critical value is going to be 1.964. Right? So we know that our T star is equal to 1.964. So let's plug everything in. Our sample mean is 31.6, plus or minus our critical value, which is 1.964, times our sample standard deviation, which is 17.7 .7 divided by radical n, it's going to be radical 655. So now we need to go to Desmos, and once again, I'm going to recommend desmos.com for this. We need to go to desmos.com and enter this information. So in our graphing calculator, we're going to start with our sample mean, which is 31.6. It's a plus or minus, so let's do the minus first. We got 1.964 times our sample standard deviation, which is 17.7. .7. Make sure it's in the parentheses. And then divided by radical n, which is going to be radical 655. That gives us our lower value. We can copy and paste this, change the minus sign to a plus sign. That'll give us the upper value, which is 32.96, and the lower value is 30.24. So on average, for the whole population, um, the reduction could be as low as 30.24 or as high as 32.96, and we can say this with a 95% confidence level. Okay, so our interval is going to be 30.24, comma, what was it, 35, 32.96. So in the lower value, we have 30.24, and in the upper value, we have 32.96. Okay, assume a sample is used to estimate a population mean. Find the 99% confidence interval for a sample size of 38. So a sample size, this gives us our n value. Our n value is 38. And I recommend writing down, down information as you see it. With a sample mean of 35.8 and a standard deviation of 20.3. Okay, so we want this to we want to enter this as an interval, low, comma, high. Alright, so we so start with the confidence interval formula for a mean. The confidence interval formula is your sample mean, x bar, plus or minus your uh, critical value t star times sample standard deviation over radical n now we have everything we need we know what the x we know what the sample mean is sample mean is 35.8 we know our uh, sample standard deviation that's 20.3 and we know our sample size which is 38. all we're missing is the critical value the t star so for the t star we need a degrees of freedom which is given by the formula n minus 1 and we have a sample size of 38 so if you take 38 minus 1 that's going to give us 37 degrees of freedom, okay? And we want a 99% confidence level. So we're going to go to our T distribution, and our degrees of freedom is going to be 38 minus one, which is 37. Make sure you always choose a two-tailed test. We have a 99% confidence level, and we get our critical value, our T star to be 2.715. Okay, so our T star is going to be 2.715. So now we have all the information we need. Let's plug this in. We have our sample mean, which is 35.8, plus or minus or your T star, which is 2.715, times the sample standard deviation, which is 20.3, divided by square root of 38. Okay, I'm going to go recommend desmos.com to plug all this in. So we're going to go to desmos.com. Start with 35.8, which is our sample mean. Now we have minus, which is going to be 2.715, times 
times the sample standard deviation, that's 20.3. And we're going to divide that by the square root of 38. That's going to give us our lower bound. To get our upper bound, we're going to copy and paste this, change the minus sign to a plus sign, and we get 44.74. So we have 26.86 as our lower bound and 44.74 as the upper bound. So this tells us that our population mean is somewhere between 26.86 and 44.74. Okay, we want to estimate a population mean for the following sample. Um, now notice that we, we're not given the sample mean and the sample standard deviation for this. What we're given is we're given some raw data. So we need to use one quantitative calculator on our calculators page to find this, this, the sample mean and the sample standard deviation. So here's what you're gonna, you're gonna do. Um, you're going to copy and paste your data. So from uh, your homework, just copy the data. And on our calculators page, go to one quantitative. The one quantitative calculator will summarize your sample means, standard deviation, all that kind of good stuff. We don't want data from textbook, we want our own data. And then simply paste it. And we can see that our sample mean is 14.4, sample standard deviation is 5.03, and our sample size is 40. So those are three things that we need. All right, so we have from the one quantitative calculator, we said uh, our sample mean is 14.4. Our sample standard deviation is 5.03. And our sample size n is equal to 40. Okay, well now once we have all this, uh, the only thing we're missing is going to be the critical value, our T star. So we were looking for a 95% confidence level. And because we have uh, 40 as our sample size, our degrees of freedom is going to be N minus one. That's 40 minus one, which is 39. So we're going to go to the T distribution calculator. And we're going to say that our degrees of freedom is 39. That's 40 minus one. It's a two-tailed test. We want a 95% confidence level. So our uh, critical value is going to be 2.023, 2.023. Okay, so our T star is going to be 2.023. Now we have everything that we need. Our formula for a confidence interval is going to be our sample mean X bar plus or minus the sample standard deviation, oh, sorry, plus or minus the T star, which is 2.023 times our sample standard deviation, which is 5.03 divided by square root of 40. Oh, and our sample mean, I forgot to replace that with 14.4. So now we're going to go to desmos.com and enter all this information. So on, in, in Desmos, we're going to say our sample mean is 14.4. We have a plus or minus, so start with the minus, 2.023. That's going to be um, our critical value times 5.03 divided by the square root of 40. That's going to give us our lower bound. We can copy and paste this, and our upper bound is going to be 16.008. Okay, uh, so this says to two decimal places. Uh, that means we're going to have 12.79 and 16.01 as our uh, lower and upper bound.